What's like the first question? Um, no, not read. <laughs> Stop. I'm trying to think of the book that I, with something that really stood out to me, and made a difference. I mean, I can say a book that I've read that changed my life when I was young. One of my favorite books that I read that really changed my life was The Alchemist. It's one of those really special novels that I've read three or four times, and each time I read it, I feel like I learned something new about myself. You guys, I have the absolute worst taste in television shows and movies. If there's an alien in it, or it takes place in space, I'm in. Or Sigourney Weaver, who I obviously have a massive crush on. I'm so excited about life right now. I'm probably at like an 11. You know, we have this beautiful daughter, we have our new beautiful home, we're shooting the second season of our television show, and I swear there's not a day that goes by that I'm super grateful for everything. If I could master one instrument, it would be a piano. People just look sexy if they're like, oh yeah, I can play that on piano. That's me playing piano. Whitney Houston. Not Nate. No, Nate can't sing. <laughs> Sorry, Nate. I sent flowers to one of my best friends yesterday, just to let her know that I think she's valued and how great she is. I never get presents. No, actually, the last gift I received was a little painting that my daughter made at school. It doesn't ever get old. What painting was it? It was very minimal. It was just a green line. That's my girl. Joy. To spread joy, like that would be my wish to be a superpower. I like to make everybody happy. Stop. <laughs> I don't care about flying. I don't want to control somebody's mind. <laughs> I would like everybody to get along, so I would like that to be my power. Uh, no. It looks a little scribbly. Unless I'm really, really organized and I actually spend some time on it. Otherwise, I kind of look like a serial killer. Being a father. No, um, the hardest part of being a father is learning how to live in that type of vulnerability every day. It is scary and you just want to protect your child for as long as you can. And sleep. I miss sleep. I played every sport growing up. Water polo, swimming, baseball, basketball. I was good at two of them. Swimming and water polo. I wish I could do tennis. I'm so bad at tennis. I hate karaoke. Nate's obsessed with karaoke. He actually has like a list, a running list in his phone of songs that he references. But me, no karaoke for me. I like my coffee in the morning with a little bit of hazelnut creamer. And then throughout the day, black and iced. Cheese, just cheese. Maybe pepperoni, but mostly cheese. Cheese I like basically on anything. He left it more beautiful than it was when he got there. My favorite country so far to visit has been Thailand and Peru. The last country I visited, Mexico, which I love more than anything. Everywhere in Mexico, such a special place. My favorite dessert would probably be Sour Patch Kids. I have a real serious, deep and dark issue with Sour Patch Kids. I'm like actually it's craving one now just talking about it. I like the store-bought white birthday cake with the white frosting with sparkle, not sparkles, but sprinkles on it. Birthday cake. Get into it. My favorite season is fall. My favorite smell is patchouli. My least favorite color would probably be a bright orange. I can't get into it. Hummingbirds. <laughs> that word never gets old. It just sounds so good. Coffee machine. I don't want to make coffee without a machine. I want to push a button and have a pot of coffee. I don't need to drip it through a tea leaf and press it and... Um, I cry all the time. I cried last night. <laughs> I think crying's really good for you. Currently, I'm obsessed with Mr. Brown Can Moo. How about you? My favorite bedtime book right now is called I Love You So Much. Um, it's a good one. What is it about? I'm loving somebody so much. <laughs> The last photo I took on my phone was my daughter who got her Halloween costume in the mail. And she was so excited that we had to rip it open and she had to prance around in it last night. So it was pretty cute. Can we see it? You have to stay tuned.